Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use simple elevators. This plugin allows you to add a variety of elevators into the game that teleport the player between them. You can even customize which blocks an elevator should be. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, go over to the spigot tab and type in simple elevators. Install the version that is compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you can just download it from the plugin page and upload it to your server pro panel. In game, if you type in a slash elevator, it will bring up a small help menu. With slash elevator list, you can see what combinations of blocks are available and their ID number. This means you can build an elevator with the combination of these blocks. Of course, you can add more in the config. To create one, either build it yourself or use a creation command. To do this, type in a slash elevator create, then the combination ID will go with two, and then the height amount. Let's just say 10 blocks. Of course, this will spawn the blocks, which can be mined as survival, so it's up to you whether you want to give permission for players to use this command. To use the elevator, it's very simple. Just press the jump key on your keyboard to go up, and then press the crouch key to go down. Like I said before, of course, you can build elevators yourself. So we're going to do that. Let's quickly build one with quartz and redstone. That is another combination of blocks that I'm able to use. You can also make them any size you like. So I'm just going to make a 3 by 3 one. The height maximum can be changed in the config. We'll make it a little higher than before. And as you can see, it actually works perfectly. Locate the config in the plugins folder. In here, you're able to change and add elevator combinations following this format. You can set what worlds the elevators will work in, the max height distance players can build their elevators, and if when using a create command, would it replace the existing blocks in the world. Then lower, you can customize the sounds it makes, the action bar, the title bar, and the boss bar. Of course, you can disable any of them if you want to. Lower is the particle effects when you travel between elevators. The ignore list will ignore the blocks which are obstructing the elevator. So if you put stone in the list here and then block the elevator with stone, the person using the elevator will probably suffocate in that stone block. So that's why only things like torches and item frames are used here because you don't actually suffocate inside them. Then you can change the delay timer and the cooldown. Lazy check will basically allow other platforms either above or below the existing elevator to count as a elevator platform. So if I set this top bit to true, it will work exactly like I've shown you here. It will allow any platform above the existing elevator to count as a platform which you can teleport to using the elevator. As you can see, when I'm on that platform, I actually can't go down since it's not an elevator platform. So it's really up to you how you set it up. The last option here is whether you want the player to be invincible for a few ticks when using the elevator. And that's about it for the config. The last thing I want to mention is that you can actually customize all the messages for this plugin. So you can even have your own language here as well. And apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.